Welcome back to FBTV. I'm Robert Blanche and we're here at Heath Park for this Sunday Trophy Superstore BPL clash between Eastern Suburbs and league leaders elect Lions FC. Lions will need to go out today and get at least a draw to go back to the top of the table. And Eastern Suburbs will be looking for all three points from what they will consider a must-win match at this time of the season. And I caught up with both coaches just before the match. Steve, an important game out here against Lions FC today. I'd see this as a must-win three points for yourselves to stay where you want to be at the turn of the round. Every game is pretty important to us. Um, as I think you mentioned last time we spoke about our inconsistency, uh, we were poor last week, hopefully we'll be better this week. Uh, the boys know what they need to do. Uh, we've uh, only made one change really, everything's pretty much the same. Uh, just hoping the boys put in a better performance than they did last week. So the side stays fairly much the same, that's a good sign for consistency. Any tactical changes for the arrival of the fairly free-flowing Lions outfit? No, not too many changes. I think uh, we, we need to be aware of a lot of their strengths. They're a very good team, you know, they're well coached, well organised, uh, they play great football. It's going to be a very tough, tough day for us. Graham, an important game here this afternoon on the Sunday. Wolves having a win last night. Any changes to the side for today's clash? No, we'll uh, run with the same lineup uh, we've had for a few weeks now. Uh, a little bit of a concern uh, the last few days. Brody Kenyon's wife is very due, uh, so there's a there's a mobile phone sitting on the sideline. That's that's how due she is. So uh, so we've uh, hopefully he'll get through the 90 minutes without being called away. But uh, no, we'll start the same lineup, uh, slightly different uh, formation possibly, but um, yeah, same same uh, side out there. Eastern East are very well constructed defensively. I was going to say, um, is there any tactical changes for today's game? Just uh, probably a little bit different where we uh, will start with Brody High. They're, they're probably a very similar side to us, like to play football. I, I think they're a very good side, uh, technically all over the park. They'll try to play football. I'm going to try and push uh, Brody a little bit high and let's see if we can pin them back. And when they do try to play out, we'll try and press them high early and uh, see if we can maybe nick a couple off them. The officials for tonight's match are New Zealand exchange referee Glenn Lockery and his assistant referees Alex King and Renee Coghill. Throw down the line. Kenyon gets a touch, but it goes out, throw into the Tigers. On the far side, long throw. Cut out. A bit of head tennis going on. Ball. Put forward. Khan. Good touch. Shoots off the crossbar. Oh. Snapshot. Tigers break quickly. McMullen. Middle of the park. Rides the challenge well. Gets it out for Farina. Gets the cross up. And Elfay has to put it out for a corner. Who could have been at one all in the first minute? Apai. Akuno gets it in. McMullen with the shot. Cunha forward. Too many numbers there for Lions. Khan back. Naofei looking for Carlos. Cunha. Oh! Heavy collision. Khan's gone down. Stenhouse with the free kick. Delivers it into the box. Got out the back door. Farina gets it across that boy again. Zabax got down and blocked the shot. McMullen. Denhouse. McMullen rolls it back. Free kick's gone. Stenhouse has a shot. It's got through. Ryan was there. Zabax back in. Gone. Butler clears it up the park. Tight stuff. Finally, it drops. Ryan. The Stenhouse. Leo Fay. Plays it inside. Khan touch. Gets it back for Neil Fay. Slides it across the face. Carol comes. Thomas was in there. Shot from Kenyon, out for a goal kick. Ball forward. 
Spina, Edwards, Johnston. Patient build up from the Tigers. Cunha all steps around. Stenhouse, first time out. Farina, this is good stuff. Cunha's made his run. Shot from distance, takes a deflection. Zabax, comfortable to his right. Ball up the channel. Cunha does well. Stenhouse, first time. Akuno with a good touch. I think, oh, Simic had hold, I think. Yes, referees picked it up. Free kick to the Tigers. Stenhouse drives it straight off Thomas. First time for McMullen. Oh, goes past Carlos. Gets it across. Oh, he's pulled up lane, McMullen. He hasn't come back from the cross. Aviles inside. Cut out by Ryan. Plays it again. Continues his run. Akuno out wide. Goes past Campbell. Still going. Feet, ball between his feet. Cunha. Ryan in space. One on one. Drags his shot wide of the mark. Thomas. Forward, finds Khan. Goes around Ryan. Cuts it back. Carlos, cuts inside. Shoots, Carl has his helmet. Baylor reacts it first and gives Lions the lead in the 33rd minute. Oh, they'll be a little upset. They'll static there after the save. Let's have a look. Carlos cuts inside. Has a go. Can only be parried by Carroll Butler, their first Lions in the lead. It's a cow forward. Thomas keeps the ball going. Khan in the back. Has he taken a touch? He's put it in the back of the net. No. Free kick. Let's have a look. I think there was a push there. Oh, I'm not sure there was a lot of contact. Referee was in good position. East play out from the back. Farina, a little bit of space, looking for Akuno, can't find him. Akuno finally gets the ball, cuts it back! Johnston! Tap in! One all here at Heath Park! In the 39th minute! Good ball for Akuno. Takes Campbell for pace from the standing start. Johnston gets between the defenders and the easy as you like equalizers. Ball over the top. Ryan with the header. It's dropped for Kenyon. Turns, goes down. Oh, free kick. Soft one, I think. Thomas. Over the ball, Thomas! And Carroll with a full stretch save to his left. To put it out for a corner. Butler. Again, Butler like looking for his defender. Oh, Kuno's read it. One on one against Campbell. Oh, steps inside. Great feet. Gets to the goal line. Cuts it across. And Zabax perfectly positioned for the cross. Ryan forward, Cunha, Laspina, Cunha rolls it inside, Stenhouse, goes back, good possession play from the Tigers, Farina, oh good heel, Laspina's in behind, and the outside of the boot, ball always going wide. Nulfay with the throw, flicked on, cleared up the park. Cunha down, Johnston, Farina. Akuno calling for it, gets it all. Did he get a grab then? I think he did. What colour? 
Was he last man? No, he wasn't. Let's have a look. There's the grab. No, fair call. Good decision from the referee. Campbell was the last player. Stenhouse. Stenhouse! Puts a shot. Inches over the bar. Aviles. Khan chasing. Ball played up the park. It's gone straight back to Butler. First time. Khan floats it in. Carroll comes. Oh, just pats it. Thomas to give Lions the lead in the 54th minute. Oh, let's have a look. Butler rolls it out for Khan. Khan floats it in. That's a regulation keeper take. If you're a defender, he's patted it straight to Thomas. He won't get an easier one than this that this year. Ball put forward early. Khan gets there. Gets around Ryan. Tries to get a shoot. Good save, Carroll, with his feet. Cunha. Picks out Johnston. Does well to control it. Rolls it back. Stenhouse into the box. Off Campbell. The spinner's shot blocked. Carlos finds Butler. Gets it going forward early. Flag's gone up. That must have been tight. Let's have a look. Butler plays it now. Oh, Khan. Onside. Great run. Thomas into the box. Away. Butler. Back into the box. And the header goes wide of the mark. Cunha. Two sevens pair off. Cunha goes inside. Finds a Kuno. Farina. Puts it into the box. Johnston gets the header on it. A Kuno. No, but Simic. Last touch. Out for a corner. Zabax goes long. Flicked on. Khan gets there. Carroll had to be quick and read the play well. Ball again forward, headed inside. Laspina forward. Stenhouse. It's been Nick Isakawa. Finds Khan. Ryan well defended in the end. Stayed with him and won the goal kick. Ryan. Inside. Stenhouse. Trying to find Farina and does. Aviles. Close contact. Ball comes across. Simic. An important interference there. Kuno loses out. Carlos forward. Khan. Onside. One on one. Takes his time. Keeps his cool and makes it 3 1 in the 86th minute. I suggest let's have a look. He looks like he's onside. We'll get a better shot here. Definitely. He's at least in line. Onside. Good goal. Calm finish. He's still pushing forward. Laspina will cut out. Farina inside. Gets it back. Kuno comes and collects. Gets some space. Shoots off Simic. East pressuring. Farina cuts it back. Stenhouse. Oh, timely challenge from Isakawa. Had to be made and was. Butler, Campbell forward, Isakawa, Aviles inside, Christensen, all caught late, play on says the referee, Christensen, good ball forward, great play from the Lions, Christensen gets the ball back, 
finds Khan. Directing traffic. Pulls the trigger over the left. Off the defender. Khan keeps possession. Butler. Khan. Good challenge, Stenhouse. Farina. Somehow squeezes between the two players. Still going. Slides it for Akuno. Kuno Can't get his foot round it and puts his shot wide. He's a cower. Aviles. And that's the final whistle, which sees this round 11. Trophy Superstore BPL Clash end. Eastern Suburbs 1. Lions 3. Steve, uh... The side played in patches very, very well, but at the end of the day, pretty much succumbed to the, the constant pressure of a Lions side that have probably learnt to win a little bit better than your lads have at the moment. Absolutely, I, I agree with that. Uh, succumbed to the pressure. Maybe we just uh, we paid the, the penalty for not taking our opportunities that we made, and and they're an experienced team. As I said before, they're well coached and you know play good football and well organised, and, and yeah, they know how to win a tight game. And towards the end of the game, they were just sitting and, and looking for a counter attack while the game was a bit in the balance, two one. We may have got back into it, but then uh, the, the the third opportunity there, they took their chance and finished at three one. But I thought we played pretty well at times, but it, it doesn't kind of cover at the end of the day when you don't get any points. Change of rounds, we're into the second round come next week. Still there or thereabouts, you, you, you're not off the pace, there's, a, there's still a, full, a, a big chance you could go on a good run and, and get yourself right up near the top, top of the table. There's not that many points between the top eight sides. I suppose the question's going to be, can you find that consistency? I hope so. Um, we still have a game in hand as well that, yes. that might help us at some point. The only thing I can kind of rely on at the moment is our inconsistency. We play well one week and we're poor the next week. So uh, we have Rochdale coming up next week, I believe, and that's going to be another difficult game. If, if they turn up and play like they did today, maybe we'll have a little bit more luck and get something out of it. But it's a fine line, as I said before. You know, I think they're playing really well and they're working very hard. We just need quality at certain times uh, in, in certain areas of the park. Back to the top of the table, Graham. Um not as an easy as assignment maybe as other games over the past few weeks, but having, having said that, never looked like, maybe from apart from the first five minutes, really didn't look like um, the side was in trouble of not getting points out of today's game. Oh, listen, we, we knew came, coming here that it's going to be an extremely hard uh, game. You know, they're a very good side, you know, technically, and, the, and you know, their style of play is superb. You know, they've got very good players all over the park. We knew this would be a real battle, and to be honest, I was very nervous before this one uh, because I knew the consequences if we dropped points here today. So um, uh, what I liked was the boys absorbed so much pressure for long periods and just didn't crack, you know, and, and that's a sign of a good side, you know, that defends with you know bodies on the line and and we did that so uh, and then we were able to take our chances at the other end and um, you know I think we've I spoke to the boys about getting in that um, winning mentality and um, you know just and we're just rolling along and winning games you know that sometimes we may not have deserved all three points but we know how to win now which is which is great you know and uh, so that was really pleasing three points for me today. East's always uh, hard to break down and you, you seem to sit a little bit deeper today and, and look for that, that maybe a bit more of a counter-attack than we used to see, especially when you're at home. Uh, and that seemed to upset East's a little bit. I think they expected you to be coming at them from wide positions. The ball seemed to come a bit quicker and that just seemed to keep them a little bit back. They couldn't push on quite as much as I think they liked to. Yeah, we're certainly looking to sort of play in those channels in behind. Uh, you know, you didn't really want to push up too high, and then um, you know, just look for those openings in behind them from from deep. You know, they they uh, give them some credit. You know, they they pushed us back as well. You know, and that's why we probably played a little bit deeper than we're used to because they they press so high with numbers. So um, it wasn't all us. So um, no, like I say, they're a very good side, and um, you know, I think they're definitely a top four side. And um, you know, they're probably another day where they get a little bit of luck go their way. Um, unfortunately, their, their keepers probably cost them a little bit today with a couple of sloppy little errors that fell at our feet. Other days, they don't fall at your feet, you know. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm sure they'll be thereabouts by the end of the season for sure. 
must be happy. Uh, first round now complete, on top of the table. Uh, second year back in the Premier League. Must be happy with uh, where the squad's obviously sitting and where you are at the moment. Yeah, this is fantastic. You know, for our second year back in, uh, you know, our, our goal or my goal to when we took over was um, to try and get uh, Lions back to the, the top of um, the local league in Brisbane and uh, we're there already which is which is nice and now we've got to stay there you know um, so uh, this coming weekend's obviously the big one six point game for both clubs and um, that can give either one of us a little bit of breathing space at the top and uh, let's see if we've got the medal to go on with it if, if we take those three points. And as you can see over my shoulder, a 3-1 victory to the visitors, Lions FC over Eastern Suburbs here in this Sunday, Round 11, Trophy Superstore, BPL Clash. Next week, we're all waiting for the blockbuster, 1v2, when Wolves FC take on Lions FC at Carmichael Park on Saturday. Yeah.